When Philip first came to us, he had an interest in designing a passive house. The journey to this house was a book by Sarah Susanka. She was arguing about not building bigger than you need. I linked up with a zero energy design architect. We start discussing what a modern, super high efficiency house could be like. My first introduction to Philip was on site and it was a raw piece of land. There's no road, no access, no driveway. I had to bring a sawzall in to kind of bushwhack a path up into where the house was going to be located. We started from really from a site perspective of understanding how the home would fit on the site, how it would relate to the sun. We, we designed the house to be as simple as possible. This was basically this is just a rectangle with a mono pitch roof. Then we start digging. Slab on grade, that foundation is made purely styrofoam. Almost like a bathtub of, of insulation that was then filled with concrete that became the foundation, it became the finished floor. The idea is to use this gigantic cement block as a heat sink. It's, it's so well insulated, you can in fact walk barefooted on that all, all the time if you wanted to. So the frame of the house is conventional, it's wood studs, 16 on center. Then once we get past the frame, then things get a little bit more unconventional again with isolation of the frame to the outside. Like all good New Englanders, this house has a winter jacket. We designed a home um, that had somewhat conventional structure that's then wrapped in insulation. A lot of the appliance and mechanical selections were chosen with Energy Star savings and rebates in mind, which Eversource and Mass Save help us with. My favorite energy efficiency feature of the house is got to be the enthalpy recovery recirculation unit. It exchanges the air so that it's not stale, removes the odor, removes the humidity. Uh, and I haven't had any problems with pollens, allergies, or anything like that, despite being in, essentially in the middle of the woods. This home has an air source heat pump for heating and cooling. It's got a dehumidifier, a heat pump hot water heater, and a PV array on the roof. The PV system is hooked up to a Tesla power wall. No, instead of having a gas power generator, why not have a battery which can be used as a backup? I didn't know at first that Philip was going to build the lights, but once we realized what his vision was, and that he, number one, he has the skill and the knowledge to do so, it was great fun to be able to kind of tag along and help him with that vision. I gave the, both the architect and the builders a, a bit of a challenge because of some of the design features that I chose, which I thought was simple, but it turns out to be perhaps a little more difficult. With zero trim and zero details, you have to get it right the first time. You have to make sure that your math is correct and you have to make sure your execution is equally correct. One of the services that the Hearst Raider provides is a blower door test. So this house had a preliminary score of about 26. And so with the PV, we brought the score down to about negative 15. We had a lot of fun during the entire process. It's always encouraging to me to find an owner that's so fully engaged and have an architect that are both on the same page. I couldn't ask for a better, more harmonious team that way. We, we had a, a great time and it's been wonderful to come back to see how he's living in the, in the house uh, and really enjoying the, the space that we envisioned together. This house is great to live in. I don't think that you can describe it in words. Just, it really has to be experienced.